wanted to go over the nutrient line I'm going to be putting into the plants uh, this round going in. I'm going to be going with Green Planet's Dual Fuel. I'll show you guys uh, what's going on with the back of this bottle. Has all the, the compounds that the plant's looking for. Okay, this is supposed to be uh, kind of like your A and B bottles that you're going to see more on the market. Uh, it's basically going to be equal parts measurement. Okay, and then we have uh, basically this dual fuel line was created with cannabis only in mind. So I mean, if you're looking for a, a product line that is specifically designed for marijuana for premium bud, this will get you there. Okay, now next we have a bottle of Ocetonic. Now Ocetonic is like a multivitamin bottle for the plants. It basically gives them vitality, like keeps them full of energy, keeps them vi very vigorous. Okay, now we do have another bottle of Massive. Now Massive is uh, a bloom enhancer. What this going to do is it's going to help with your size, density, aroma right away. It's going to give the plant what it wants, when it wants it, and especially early flower. For those bud sites to be to start coming in rapidly, you want to make sure that you're feeding the plant exactly what it wants. So you can see the feed chart back here. This is per liter. Okay, guys? So these are the measurements per liter. Now, next we're going to go into liquid W8. This is going to overall enhance the energy and plant growth of your plant. It's going to pack on some size, oil, resin, all the things that you're looking to do mid flower by packing on that weight, getting some nice heavy buds going on. And last but not least, we have a bottle of finisher. Now finisher, this is going to enhance your flavor, aroma, the density of the buds are going to start to firm up on the finisher. This is not a flushing agent at all. There are flushing agents on the market. I happen to use FloraClean. I think that works real well getting any uh, salt in the soil out. So if you want any, get any of those solids out of the soil, um, you need to check uh, your soil quite uh, often and you would want to use something like a TDS meter. If this will break down uh, or give you the parts per million of the total dissolved solids, which what's in the, in the soil. And also we measure this when we're adding our nutrient batch together per gallon. We like to know what our parts per million is, uh, we're what we're putting in the plant from week to week. And as you can see on my feeding chart here, it's giving me a good estimate of where I want to be because the, TD, the TDS meter, it may tell us parts per million, but it really is reading the electric uh, conductivity. That's just how this meter works. Depending on that, the electric conductivity in the water is how it's able to transfer that into parts per million. So if you didn't have an idea of how a TDS meter worked, um, it does give you the parts per million, but it is measured off the EC. Now, I wanted to go to in your pH meter. A lot of people know about this. Some people still use the strips. Um, basically, this is going to tell you how your water is pH-wise. Uh, pH stands for potential hydrogen. And what that does, it's going to measure that inside the water. And it's going to tell us where the pH is. And obviously, if you run a cocoa or a drip system, you're going to want to be at a lower pH in the, you know, 6.2, 6.3 to 5.8. You know, a soil grower is where we're, we're going to want to be a little closer to 7, maybe 6.5, 6.6. So basically, if you're looking to get, you know, all the right equipment, you know, your, your pH up and down, things that are going to help you at a snap of the fingers, you know, when you, when you grow plants, you want to do it right. It's an investment. And if, if you take your investment serious and you want to return on your investment, you're going to want to feed your, your plants correctly because that's your investment. And another thing I put into my plants is the Micro Life Hydroponics. And I'm going to start off with the, the root drip. Okay, this is going to increase chlorophyll and nutrient availability within the plant. So feeding your plant this, all of these are, are um, 
microbes, and beneficial bacteria. Okay, so the next bottle I'm gonna go to is the Nourish L. Let's take a good look at it, guys. Now this is gonna help absorb nutrients. It increases, it, it increases the water retention and also provides humic, hum, humic acid. So if this is something you definitely wanna put in your plant, it's gonna keep your plant uh, eating and getting the food right away. Next, we're gonna talk about the Photosynthesis Plus. We'll take a look at that. Now this is gonna enhance your overall plant function from leaf to root zone. Okay, so it's gonna help the plant utilize all the energy it's taking during the photosynthesis process. It's gonna be more efficient. It's gonna help with your macro and micronutrients. It's gonna promote overall good health of the plant and good yield. It's gonna set your plant up nice for nice big buds, okay? Because all of this is beneficial bacteria. Now, here's your veg vegetable and fruit yield enhancer. Okay, now this is gonna this could be used a couple different ways. This can be help can help you germinate seeds. Okay, uh, a lot of people don't know that, but if you look with the manufacturer, it just it's it's a good stimulant. It has the right bacteria in there to help the, the seeds just pop and grow. It's gonna help with uh, early root development, nutrient uptake, and keep your plants vigorous and flower. You know, a lot of people have problems with heat and flower. Well, this is going to help you fight that heat a little better. Okay, guys? So I just wanted to show you what I'm putting in my plants. Um, if there's any questions, you know, leave a comment in the, in, the, in the comments. And please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. But basically, this is the line of nutrients going to be using. I'm going to try to get, I'm gonna try to get in contact with Green Planet uh, again and see if I could go to one of the trade shows. But when I spoke to them on the phone, this nutrient line was specifically designed for cannabis. So that definitely caught my eye. There are other nutrient uh, companies that are in tune with cannabis, but there's not a lot. You know, a lot of your companies from 20, 30 years ago, they do grow good plants, but it wasn't in, it wasn't in mind for marijuana. It was in mind for cucumbers, tomatoes, carrots, you know, those are the things they were growing in large abundances. So if you're looking to get something that's more fine tuned for what you're looking to do, if you're growing medical cannabis, you're growing recreational cannabis, my friend, you're going to grow some bomb ass weed with this product line right here. So it gives my thumbs up.